So question three on this OCR Gateway P4 section for OCR Gateway Physics or OCR Gateway Additional Science. Ultrasound is a longitudinal wave. So this question is about waves, but it's about specifically longitudinal waves. P is a particle in a longitudinal wave. Look at the diagram. So here's the particle spread out. This one is a pressure wave, a bit like sound, where particles all bunch up and then they will spread out. They bunch up, they spread out, they bunch up, they spread out. And in doing that, they're doing a vibration, or an oscillation is another word for vibration. It's a repeated movement back and forth in the same plane. How does particle P move in a longitudinal wave? Put a ring around the correct answer. So it really is a question asking you just to define what a longitudinal wave is. Now in a, any wave, there is a direction of energy transfer, it's usually shown left to right. Energy is moving left to right in this case, and a direction of the oscillation. So really you have to find out, work out which one is the direction that these particles would be moving in this pressure wave. In a transverse wave, they move transverse. They move at right angles to the direction of energy transfer. And in a longitudinal wave, they move parallel to the direction of energy transfer. I remember that by saying to myself, they move along the direction of energy transfer, longitudinal. So pick yourself one of the arrows below, uh, pause the video and I'll circle the correct one. Hopefully you got that from my explanation. It's this way, the particles are moving along the direction of energy transfer. The vibration is parallel to the direction of energy transfer. So it's still about waves, this time about medical use of waves. Doctors use ultrasound for some medical scans rather than x-rays. Give two reasons why ultrasound is used rather than x-rays. And you're probably familiar with ultrasound because that's what you have when you're pregnant. Uh, that is what we use to analyze the development of the fetus. Why would we use that rather than x-rays? Well, x-rays are ionizing radiation. They can actually change atoms and that means they can be damaging to cells. Ultrasound though is just like a sound wave, it's just like the wave in the previous question. It's just very very high frequency and sound doesn't tend to damage cells unless it's incredibly incredibly loud. So pause the video and have a little go at explaining two reasons why ultrasound would be used in some cases rather than x-rays. Okay, well, the bit I didn't tell you is, well, x-rays are normally used to give scans of bone. Okay, and they can only really tell the difference between bone or soft tissue. So, actually, x-rays are not used in some cases because they don't give a picture of the soft tissue. So you could say the converse of that, you could say, well, uh, x-rays give pictures of bones, but ultrasound would give pictures of soft tissue. And then secondly, is the reason I alluded to, because ultrasound doesn't damage cells. It does not damage cells. You could say the converse, you could say because x-rays are ionizing and therefore they damage cells, that would get you the mark as well. But not just they're less damaging or less harmful or safer than x-rays, you, you need to include this bit about they damage cells. Uh, you don't have to go into this idea that uh, too many x-rays, many x-rays, many uh, much exposure to ionising radiation can cause cancer, you don't have to go into it here, but that's another reason why x-rays are very, very rarely used, only in extreme emergencies for pregnant mothers or anywhere that could be exposed, a fetus could be exposed to x-rays. 
Okay, on to the next question.